Now the time difference meant while American viewers were about to watch the battle for the NFL title on Sunday evening, it was early morning for their cousins in China. But it didn't stop them from coming for the Super Bowl party though, which was organized by NFL China at Beijing's Kerry Hotel. Instead of the usual snacks and fried food, the build-up here consisted of a breakfast buffet. So it's been an early start. We've seen the breakfast buffet, but this is what it's all for. The main event, ballroom one. And this is where the NFL party is. And I mean, Seattle is going to give us a very, very hard time, I think. Um, but I think in the end, uh, we'll pull it off. Manning, go man. I think Seattle's chances are pretty good because they had a good defense. And um, I think that, you know, Peyton Manning has to throw the ball real well to get, you know, past that Seattle secondary. And, you know, if not, you know, I think Seattle has a pretty good chance. Broncos fans, however, were disappointed right from the get-go when the veteran quarterback Peyton Manning missed the first snap of the game. And it was a sign of things to come. The Seahawks raced to a 22-0 lead at the break thanks to a Marshawn Lynch touchdown and a Malcolm Smith interception. Making way for the halftime festivities with performances from Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And when proceedings resumed, any hope of a Broncos comeback was immediately and ruthlessly blown away by Percy Harvin returning the kickoff for an 87-yard touchdown. The Broncos did get something to cheer about though, with Demarius Thomas catching a 14-yard pass from Manning for their only touchdown of the game. It was a case of too little, too late though. And the Seahawks added another touchdown to cap off an incredible 35-point victory. The final score, 43-8. to And it gave the head coach Pete Carroll his first Super Bowl win and a chance to hoist the famous Vince Lombardi trophy. <laughs> Go Seattle! Yeah, Seattle! Yeah! Yeah! The game's ended and the Seattle Seahawks pretty much running away with the game. We've got a couple of fans here. Well, we'll start with you, the runners-up. Did you, did you expect the scoreline to be that wide? I did not expect it to be the score that it was, but defense does win championships, and the fact of the matter is, Seattle does have the best defense. It doesn't matter if you have the best offense, uh, that, that's what happens. So I, I, was, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, that's, that's how it plays out. I, I that's a very it. noble way of accepting it. Now <laughs> let's, move over, let's move over to you. We saw you earlier, what, the Hammond celebrations there. Now, did you expect the score line to be this wide either? I mean, almost a 30-odd point gap there, wasn't it? Absolutely not. Uh, knowing how good the Broncos are on offense, I thought we would be struggling to hold back Peyton Manning and their fantastic offense. In the end, we played so well in all of the sections of the game, in special teams, defense, offense. The Seahawks were absolutely amazing. We don't really deserve to win by this far, but... Next year, I hope we play these guys again, and I hope we beat them by one point. <laughs> and whether that happens in the future or as immediate as next year, only time will tell. Until then, though, if you want bragging rights in NFL circles, you'll have to be a Seahawk. This is Aiden Barua for East West Sports on BON. Next year, to be moved!